Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you a very hopefully quick guide on how you can actually get PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds for your mobile iOS or Android device. This actually can be quite annoying to do, but stay tuned throughout the whole video and I will do my best to actually get you set up on this game because it is actually pretty good. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys who are searching this up right now have played Rules of Survival. Um, this game is very much similar, but you know, it's originally player Knowns Battlegrounds. It's got the map, it's got everything. Um, so before we actually get into the guide itself, please remember to leave a like as it is appreciated and also subscribe to the channel if this did help you out and you want to see more videos like this or a Fortnite, or Monster Hunter, anything like that, uh, go and subscribe to the channel. Um, okay, so getting straight into the video, I firstly want to say that there are going to be a couple of links in the description of this video. They are going to help you a lot. They will hopefully be an iOS download and an Android download. So if you're on iOS, which is an Apple phone, um, you're going to want to choose that. If you've got something like a Samsung or something like that, you want to choose uh, Android. And... Um, what you're going to do is you're going to firstly download the Android or iOS version of, um, I believe it's called Tap Tap. This is like an Asian app store as far as I believe. I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is, um, but it is actually called um, it, it is actually called Tap Tap or something like that. And once you actually download it, you're able to then go and download PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds from the app store inside it. Actually, when you actually open up Tap Tap, one of the first apps that show up on this front screen should be PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds because it's like, I don't know, I think it's because it's trending right now or something. That's pretty much why. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to download that. And I would suggest if you have a really good phone, um, you download the very good version of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds because there's actually two versions of this game you can get. You can get a version where it's low graphics and there's also a version where it's high graphics. Now, the one with low graphics is the one that has this little thing in the top left-hand corner of the icon. I'll probably show you on screen right now, guys. Um, so, on the very low version, it's actually made by some sort of company with like an electric bolt sign. So when you first start up the game, you'll ha you'll see like an electric bolt, and um, that's the low version of the game. Now, if you load up the game with the version that is published by a company called Timmy, and it it like boots up and it's like Timmy. Um, that's the high version. So depending on what kind of device you have, whether you can handle a low version or the high version, you're going to choose whichever one you want. Um, for my whole thing, I have a pretty good phone, so I'm going to choose the high version. And I'm just going to start downloading it. And um, basically, after it's downloaded, you can start it up and everything like that. But there's actually something that re a lot of people have had a lot of difficulty with. And that is actually signing in and creating an account, a Japanese account or an Asian account, I guess, um, to actually play on the game. When you actually go to the main menu, there will be two little logos. One is like this kind of message bubble and one is a little penguin. And uh, I would actually tell you guys to go with the penguin one instead of the little uh, messages. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Android App Store and we're actually going to type in QQI and what this is I it's I don't know what the QQ stands for but basically it's QQ International and um, what you can do is it's all in English or whatever language you prefer you can actually change languages and um, you can actually go and sign up on this little app and it will give you a username and then you can actually make a password and everything like that. And that is the login that you're going to use to access Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Um, so like I said, all of the links are going to be in the description and everything like that, guys. I'm going to try my best to help you out. If you do comment down below or have any problems, uh, feel free to just ask me and I will do my best to help. And um, I hope that all of you guys can get this game up and running on your phone because I know a lot of people have anticipated this for quite some time. And the best thing about it is it's actually free. Uh, you guys are probably seeing some gameplay in the background or something like that right now of me playing this. Um, honestly, the first game I played, I came first. I was like, oh, dude, this is... It's it's really like PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. That's what I love about it. It's so much like PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds that I absolutely love it. Um, 
Of course, you know, my PC runs it 10 times as better. Uh, there's not, never going to be any replacing my PC version at all. Um, but still, it's pretty interesting to actually play this on a mobile device when I'm like in bed or something and I'm bored. Um, it's, it's pretty cool to just do it. Um, and yeah, I don't know if any of you guys actually get this uh, tutorial to help you. I would appreciate you guys confirming it in the comment section below. That would be pretty awesome too. Um, but... Bear in mind, um, I also want to say that this is a, uh, I, I guess it's an early beta or an early alpha version of this game. It's not actually like, you know, it's not 100% complete. There is going to be some bugs, there's going to be some glitches, and that's okay because eventually, uh, hopefully, these two companies that are working on the separate versions of the game, the low version and the high version, will hopefully solve all of this and come together to make one of the best gaming mobile, one of the best mobile gaming games that has been released so far, because, I don't know, I think it's pretty impressive that companies are making these type of games for mobile devices right now, like, I think that's, like, super incredible that mobiles can even handle, like, half of this, it's, it's absolutely crazy, um, but I've actually just got into a game right now, guys, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record a little bit of this gameplay, show you guys exactly how I play on this game, and uh, I don't know, I hope you stay tuned throughout all of this. So, yeah, anyway, as you can see, most of the language is in um, some sort of um, Asian language. I don't exactly know what it is. Um, but basically, we're going to have to um, pretty much just go on what we know here. So I know that I'm just directly above Pachinki. So I'm going to land here, hopefully kill a couple of people. If I die straight away, that's going to be the end of the video. But uh, let's, see, let's see how this goes right here. Um, normally when I play this game, I, on my PC device, uh, or my PC uh, computer or whatever, um, I normally win like one in every like seven games or something like that. I think that's, a, that's pretty accurate for me to be honest. Um, and Pachinki is definitely my city. I love this place. This is the place I go all the time. And uh, as you guys can see right now, the game is crashing like crazy. And uh, that is because the only servers available, to my knowledge, are in um, Asia. And if you just look in the bottom left-hand corner right there, you will see it saying 399 um, MS. And uh, basically what that means is that's uh, how many milliseconds it takes me to actually uh, kind of input actions on this game. And, um, yeah, that's what makes it very difficult for me because, like, I am basically having a lot of lag, whereas people who are native to Asia, um, they won't have any problems at all. They will be absolutely fine uh, with their lag. They won't have any, in fact. Um, well, presumably, anyway. Um, okay, so all we found right now is level 2 helmet. There you go. Okay, level 2 backpack even. Let's see, something. There's got to be something. Uh... Alright, no, level 1 backpack, level 2 vest. Okay, let's uh, open this door back up. Alright, so I was playing this yesterday, like I said, I came first, it was it was pretty interesting to be honest, I enjoyed it very much. Um, and it's very different from the PC version in uh, many ways, but it still stays true to the whole, you know, battle survival kind of thing. It's, it's, it's pretty good uh, for a mobile device anyway. So, get my helmet right there. Come on, we can do this. Let's see. It, I feel kind of strange, like, playing a mobile device on... Uh, playing on a mobile device on my YouTube channel right now. This is something I never thought I would do. But, uh, anyway, we're doing it. Okay. Wait, do those doors open automatically? Just for ease of use? I think they may do. And, uh, as you can see, the Darcia was in the background right there. You can actually drive in this game, too, which is insane. Um, in the trailer released a couple of weeks ago, or I guess it was a couple of months ago now, uh, they actually showed off this big, huge kind of, like, um, warship. And as far as I know, that's not in the game. I think that was just kind of to make the trailer look a little bit better. Um, very confusing indeed. I don't know if they plan to add that at a later date. But um, yeah, level 2 backpack. There you go. Grab that bad boy. Okay, we haven't found anything that we really need so far yet. Uh, jump. Come on. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Okay. Right, and it looks like we're just on the outside of the zone. It looks like it's going to be a mill base zone. Let me have a little check. Yep, it's a mill base zone. Okay, that's that's brilliant. Okay, so, oh, shotguns. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's, um, I'm going to keep the um, pump action shotgun. I'm not going to use the semi-auto. Uh, but what I am going to do 
is grab some more ammunition and I'm probably gonna pick up this mini or sorry Uzi Uzi Right, I can't hear any bullet shots either. There's 82 people left right now. Oh, level, level, level four times, four times scope. Okay, four times scope. Let's do this. All right, open up, jump. Right, apparently there's been shots. I did not know that, but apparently it shows you shots on the map. That's insane. What? I have just realized this now. Like, it has genuinely just shown me shots on the map. I had no idea it did that. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, right, we got a choke. Put that attach. There you go. So what's kind of cool is it automatically attaches these things also. Um, if you need them to. Like, it automatically attaches, which is pretty... I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, open this up. Let's see... Where's the guy? Oh, shit! He's down here! Right. Oh, doing some parkour. So, I'm assuming that he's... Oh, I hear him. Shit! It's lag! It's lagging! Right, I'm not too sure where he went, or at all where he is. Right, there's a level 2 helmet in there. Is that a UMP? I really need that UMP if it is. Right, let's see if we can make this. Oh shit! No! Lag! Lag! It's lagging! Okay, I need my shotgun back. So, the gameplay is very, like, it's not as fast-paced as as the actual PC version or anything. Oh, this dude right here. Well, that happened. Okay, sayonara. Right, what did he have? He had an M16. So, I'm going to take that M16. I'm going to take a couple of these bandages. Uh, also, some of this ammunition. Very good indeed. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, reload. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Right. And I'm pretty sure that I picked up a four times, right? I almost swear I picked up a four times. So that's what I'm going to do. Wait there a second. Let's just get here a minute. So I'm going to tap on my icon uh, for the bag. I'm going to switch these around. Oh, yep. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, and what's kind of cool is that if I need to take any of my meds, they're in this top right-hand corner just below where the, uh, the running kind of thing is, you know, from the old games and stuff. Um, I'm gonna change my gun to single fire and for my UMP, I'm pretty sure it's automatically on uh, Semi-auto or something like that. I'm not too sure semi-auto should be fine for this though And um, I don't know about everybody else who's playing this game right now But if their piece if their actual phones can handle it or anything like that, but I think personally on my Samsung Note 8 do I have a Samsung Note 8? Yes, I do. On my Samsung Note 8, I think these graphics are pretty good. And I'm pretty sure if I went into the actual graphic settings, I could probably increase the view distance and everything like that. Like, um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Because say if someone's on top of this, like, hill right now, I could probably see them from this far out. Uh, what I'm going to do is just tap on... Wait, what do I need to tap on? Right, auto run, there you go. Okay, so I've enabled auto run, which is a pretty cool little feature that they decided to add in. There's a guy over here. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get this guy. I'm going to keep on following him a little bit. Bear in mind that you can still look behind you and everything, just like the PC version when holding alt. Um, so he could very well know that I'm coming up behind him now if he is an experienced player. And is, you know, knows that you can actually do this. It seems like he's just got the kill, or somebody did anyway. Uh, but it came in this direction. And hopefully, I can have a little try at him. I don't know. Let's check this out. Right, so as you can see, for the PC version, it's uh, for the mobile version, it seems like they've uh, changed a couple of the places. Like, I don't remember this place being here. Oh, sugar. There you go. Hit him once. I was gonna die! What are you doing? You crazy character? 
Oh, sugar. Okay, okay, getting shot at, getting shot at. So what we want to do is jump, jump, jump. Just like they do. Right, okay, where's this guy? Where's this guy? I see him in the window right there. Okay, so is he... He's right here. Oh, no! Oh, shit! He got me! Oh, no way, dude. I, I honestly thought I saw him in the window behind. Maybe I just got a little bit confused there. But 45 out of 100, not too bad, considering I don't really play on this. I'm much better on PC. Um, but anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to show you off some gameplay. And like I said, stay ch like stay um, stay focused on what I said at the start of the video. Hopefully, it does help you guys actually sign up and create an account on this. It's all free to play, um, because obviously, they're making money from the loot crates and everything like that that like like probably all the asians are buying and everything so um yeah it's kind of cool that they made it free to play um well anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video like i said if you do have any problems comment them down below and i will try my best to help you out and uh, yeah until next time i've been star lord oh see ya